What's up Vape Fam? Today we're taking a look at the Hammer of God or Hog V3 uh, Vapors Clouds Vapors Clouds uh, Para Series box. Um, they've been around for a while. The, the first Hammer of God was silver, the second one was black. Big hulking boxes that held four batteries. Um, this one's quite a bit smaller and they come in a lot of different finishes. So uh, without further ado, let's go up close for the breakdown to see what makes a vape. Alright, here we are up close with the Hammer of God V3 from Vapors Cloud or Hog V3. Um, these came rubber banded around the box, so let's start with these. Uh, you have your uh, authenticity card and on the back you have a short list of warnings. Um, all pretty good advice, uh, 18 and over, it's series mod, married new batteries, so on and so forth. And then you get this giant list, at least I did, of additional warnings. Um, some of these are pretty good, some of them I'm hoping are humorous, and uh, some of them leave you scratching your head. Um, do not use this product in any sexual nature. Uh, raises a lot of questions. So, uh, putting that aside, uh, the box itself, lift top box, blue and red because this is the purple one, Vapor's Cloud, and on the side it will tell you the finish style. This is the acid purple. Come on. Come on. And there's the mod itself. Now you can hear the bottom moving around because there's no batteries in there right now. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's a mechanical style mod. It is unregulated. Uh, you have this little latch here for the batteries. You can see where my finish is already coming off in a couple places. There, this corner here. Uh, bum me out a little bit because this really hasn't gone anywhere except sitting on a desk or in my pocket occasionally. Uh, these tabs here will connect to your battery. Uh, this fits in pretty tightly once the batteries are in there. It doesn't rattle or shake or move around. The button is always pretty solid. It doesn't move at all. Um, it is marked here on the bottom. Positive, negative. Make sure you put your batteries in in the proper orientation. Uh, but it is pretty easy to read. Um, I don't know how well you can see it on the camera because it is an aluminum box and it is just etched into the aluminum. Um, but it's pretty easy to see in person. Uh, down underneath you can actually see the tabs where the other side of the batteries connect to, the one connected to the 510 center pin in there. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but you can actually see the button move. It's on the side facing up. And you might not be able to get enough light down in there. It's really hard for me to see on this screen whether or not you can see that. Um, on the top you do have a 510 pin and the 510 pin is adjustable with a flat headed screwdriver. You just put the screwdriver down in here like so, twist it up, twist it back down. Um, so the warning, the instructions say to use protruding 510 pin atomizers but you shouldn't necessarily have to because there is a 510 pin and it is not a hybrid box mod. Um, so that is pretty much it honestly. Uh, like I said the button, nice flat button. Uh, there is still a little bit of force on it but honestly it's a lot better than the older ones and the serial number is actually on the button side down here on the bottom hard to see because of the finish but down here on the bottom uh, make sure that matches your authenticity card and then you won't have any worries um, so that sums it up like I said there's a lot of different finishes uh, so pick the one that you like the best uh, the ventilation holes are on the bottom for the batteries again not the easiest things to see because of the finish uh, but honestly great little box mod I've been loving it um, so with that in mind let's go back up top and eh, did you see the hammer of God etching in there? It's there. That's also pretty well hidden. But it is there. Uh, we'll go back up top, uh, we'll talk about it, and we will vape on it. Alright guys, that was the up close with the hammer of God V3. The hog V3, whichever you prefer to call it. Um, the acid purple edition. Uh, so I put the inline voltage meter on this. Uh, with the 0.16 ohm build I have, out of curiosity, uh, and it's at 
full, when the batteries are fully charged, it's at 325 watts. So suffice it to say, it hits pretty hard. And yes, that is within the amperage limits of the batteries um, because it is a para series box. So the way parallel works with batteries is you get the amperage from both batteries. The way series works is you get the voltage from both batteries. Put them together and you get the amperage added together and the voltage added together. So you have the best of both worlds in one mod. Um, it is significantly smaller than the old Hammer of Gods which were significantly larger honestly. Um, this fits your hand almost about the size of an RX200. RX200 is actually longer um, but not as wide so it's not too much different uh, it doesn't really have the same shape of the hand I suppose you could hold it like this um, <clears throat> mechanical style button uh, the other ones had a protruding button that had a lot of pull on it it was really really hard to pull this is pretty easy to fire it doesn't take much um, bottom battery obviously uh, all in all, I've been loving this thing. I'm probably going to get more. Um, maybe in a different finish or two. Uh, the finish is chipping off on mine a little bit already, which is kind of a bummer down there in the corners, as you probably saw. Uh, so that bummed me out a little bit. The only place this has been is either on a desk or in my pocket, so I don't really know why it's wearing off so much. Um, the finishes on these will all vary, okay? So when you see this one and you're like, oh, I want one that looks exactly like that, it probably won't. It'll be a little bit different in terms of how much of the purple, how much of the pink, how much of the blues. Everything varies a little bit because they're all hand done. So keep that in mind. I've seen them with a lot of pink. I've seen them with very little pink. I've seen tons of purple. They really do vary. Um, the other ones I don't have as much experience with, the acid purple, are the ones I've seen the most pictures of. Um, yeah, I've been absolutely loving this thing. It is kind of expensive. They retail at $199, uh, so 200 bucks but it's really well made, it's really well machined, everything fits together, the batteries, there's no, the door doesn't even protrude. It is perfectly flat once it's clipped into place. Um, it's really easy to get it open. It's a little bit more of a challenge to get it closed. I usually have to use both thumbs, and there we go. Uh, the button, like I said, has a nice, uh, nice feel to it, and I love the design, the feel. It's obviously a little bit heavy because there is four batteries in it, but it is an aluminum enclosure, so it's not too bad. Um, all in all, I've been loving this thing, and like I said, it, it's 325 watts, and with this profit and three coils, it's really not that hot. And guys, before you get all bent out of shape about the super high wattage, the next video I'm going to be doing is going to explain how you can vape at high wattages without all the heat. It's really, this really is not that hot of a vape. Um, there is a lot of volume of vapor, but it is not that hot. Um, so, all in all guys, I hope this video, you found this video helpful. Like, subscribe, it helps me out. Um, if you have any questions about it, co uh, comments, experiences, things I didn't address, leave it down in the comments below. I try my best to get to them. Um, like always, I hope to see you guys again soon. Till next time, suck blow and keep on vaping.